Hi guys, it's Michelle. Today I am showing you what I've done to refresh my master bedroom for the summer. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. Okay, so this is where I first walk into my room and I set up this little reading nook over here with a lamp and a chair um, right next to the window. Um, it's a very comfortable little spot and my entire room is done in neutrals with a touch of um, leopard print in black. So mainly whites, creams and um, beige with a touch of black and my touch of black and gold basically. So once I walk into the room, the first thing you see is my bed and this huge mirror over here that reflects a ton of light. And it's over here where I can kind of check myself out when I get dressed and whatnot. On the other side is where my dresser is and I'll show you that in a minute. First, let me show you what I did on the bed. Um, I'll get a little closer so you can kind of see all the textures that I added because my bed is completely neutral with all white and cream basically. So I have this cream colored um, quilt here, but I have my sleeping pillow in the back, which matches my comforter. I have a, a fur Euro pillow and this uh, beautiful butterfly beaded pillow in the front. And um, this pillow is actually from Z Gallery and I did get it when they were running their sale. Um, other than that, everything else I already had um, all the pillows are from Ross and the, um, the comforter set is from Home Goods. And over here on my nightstand, these mirrored nightstands, I just have a couple of books, some tulips and my yoga lady, <laughs> which uh, I really like because that kind of sets the tone for the room, which is to be able to relax. And up here I have this abstract wall art here that has the gold detail in it and that is from Ross as well. Over on the other side I have the candle holders. They are from Burlington. The leopard print box is from Home Goods. Everything you're looking at is from Home Goods. The lamps are from Rooms to Go and my two uh, mirrored nightstands are from Overstock.com. So I absolutely love the way this looks and I did not want to put too much in my bedroom because I want it to stay uncluttered. I want it to be a place where I can relax like right here at the foot of the bed where I have this settee which is from Pier 1 um, but I did not peer, pay the Pier 1 price. I got this from a Facebook marketplace seller. Um, this normally sells for I think $750 at Pier 1 um, and I paid about $200 and so it was an excellent deal. That's another way to get really good furniture on a budget is to look on Facebook Marketplace. And here's my dresser that I painted with the metallic paint. It's still holding up really well. There's one scratch on the top. So I am gonna go over it again with some more polyurethane, but it has held up really, really well. Here's another one of my leopard print boxes and I just put a decorative piece on the top. You know, just keeping it really simple. One of my favorite pictures right there. And I do have a picture on either side of the television. Um, over here, I did hang the curtains all the way to the ceiling. And I'm going to give you a closer look at this mirror detail. I do love, love this sort of antique gold uh, surround on it. But I did all of this without shopping at all. I did one pillow and that was it. Um, I'm not in any rush to get out to the stores. Again, all the stores are basically open here now. So are you, are you guys feeling comfortable with going to the stores again yet? <laughs> I'm still not really comfortable, but um, luckily I don't need to go out and get anything. So guys, thanks for spending the last five minutes with me. I have some more pictures at the end. And if you love home decor, DIYs, or anything home related, go ahead and click that subscribe button right now so you don't miss out on anything. And I will see you in the next one.